I want to get a word in from B.C. Bhatt, who's associate professor at the Indian Institute of Astrophysics. Uh, 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 Mr. Bhatt, 24 minutes and counting, nail-biting moments for the entire team at Sri Harikota. What's going through your mind as we look at these images, sir? Yeah, definitely, it is a very... Uh Anxiety is going on, how it can take off, and uh, most uh, what I heard that weather is very fine there. And there is no doubt launch will be successful, and we all are waiting anxiously for all these uh, happening in the history of Indian science and Indian space. Very true. We've all got our fingers crossed. Uh, Mr. Bhatt joining us also live. Just to give uh, some perspective, Shiv, you referred to also uh, the launch vehicle here, uh, the LVM3. Now to Tell our viewers about how high this is. When you see it in this kind of a view, you don't really realize how mammoth this particular vehicle is. Now, ex the GSLV itself is half the height of the Qutub Minar, essentially. Yeah. So a massive chunk of the Chandrayaan mission, and what you see there as the vehicle, is largely the launch vehicle, is the LVM-3. It's called the Bahubali, and for good reason, because it's so successful, has always been one of the most stable agents of ISRO. On top, you have the Vikas engine as well. Again, a brainchild of the Indian Space Research Organization, with which Mr. Nambi Narayanan was closely associated. The lander Vikram is right on top. The rover Pragyan is also right on top. So the focus will be 40 days from now on what Lander Vikram and the rover Pragyan really do. The rover will look to roam around on the surface of the moon, the South Pole, because there's a lot of talk about water molecules being their shift. So there's going to be a lot of focus on what really emerges from this mission. Mm. But right now, you're right, everyone's going to be talking about ISRO's Bahubali and perhaps India's Bahubali. Bahubali, I mean, uh, I can only imagine the been in Sriharikota during a rocket launch as very difficult to describe the kind of mood there, the kind of electricity in the air. It's very quiet. There's not a lot of, uh, you know, hubbub or buzz. Uh, you know, the scientists are quietly going about their work, but the tension and suspense, and I mean tension in a very positive way, is palpable in the air. You can cut the air with a knife because this is, uh, you know, entire lifetimes of research and work that goes into projects of this kind. And that's the reason why, as we wait with bated breath for another big launch by ISRO, this is also a moment to celebrate all of our scientists. Professor Chaitanya Giri is the Associate Professor uh, of Flame University's editor of in Interstellar News, uh, you know, and an expert, uh, an observer of India's space program for a long time. Uh, Professor Giri, welcome. 21 minutes to go for this big launch. Uh, uh, you know, in your view, what will the mood be like? Describe for us what's going on in your view at the Satish Dhawan Space Center right now. Uh, thank you, Shay, for inviting me to the program. I think uh, there'll be butterflies in their tummies. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, you know, nervous uh, moments, you know, last moments where the countdown is beginning, you know, it, it is a nail biter for now. Uh, we've had some hiccups in the previous launches with Chandrayaan 2, and I'm sure uh, all the, those errors have been rectified. And uh, the scientists, the engineers who are there at Sri Harikota will be making sure that everything goes right and uh, they are ticking all the right boxes. Uh, you know, in terms of, in terms of uh, preparations, will any, uh, you know, uh, will the scientists be making any changes right now? How dynamic is that situation? Or is everything locked and loaded now? Now it's just about the launch, Professor. It's just, nothing is locked and loaded. Uh, because uh, the drill is already done, uh, hmm. the launch is already set, the parameters that go into uh, monitoring the uh, uh, launch vehicle, the state separations are already locked uh, and uh, the entire system, the entire dashboard is, uh, is predetermined, if I may say so. All right. Uh, uh, Professor, just stay on with us. Let's try to get the mood on the ground. That's where all the action is. I'm sure all our viewers want to know what's happening right now in Sri Harikota. Pramod Madhav is getting you the best possible view of the launch pad right now, of the Chandrayaan as it waits for liftoff. Pramod, uh, show us around. You know, I can see that the launch pad is right behind you. 
It's absolutely true, Sakshita. In fact, it's like we have been guarding the launch pad for the past three days <laughs> since we are here. Let me show you the launch pad once again. And the view here is absolutely beautiful. And there are people who go gone to the gallery and the Israel officials have said in the past, like almost when they opened the gallery uh, availability, within three hours, it got completely full. And there are thousands of thousands of people who are at the gallery also waiting for the launch. And there, in, the, in our visuals, what you see is the actual launch pad SLP where we have the Chandrayaan and everybody here are like completely 100% uh, believe that this is going to be a success because ISRO for this whole year has shown that it has mastered the LBM3 and uh, it's going to be another success and we are waiting for the rocket to soar up from this position and perhaps to get a glimpse of that reflected on the water body right in front of us. It's to go. You know, this is, uh, 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 this is an, a, a level of excitement that's difficult to describe. Uh, ISRO uh, is uh, uh, at the Satish Dhawan Space Center, the entire mission Chandrayaan team, the director, uh, the, the ISRO director, other dignitaries, other scientists, the entire team at their telemetry stations, observing every last minute uh, uh, you know, issue with the Chandrayaan-3 and the LVM-3 rocket right before launch, 19 and a half minutes to go before that takeoff. We're going to keep our cameras absolutely fixed. Pramod, one of the few journalists down there with this kind of vantage point, uh, uh, you know, just a couple of kilometers away from the launch site. As you can appreciate, viewer, we can't get any closer because of, uh, you know, obvious issues. This is a very, very powerful rocket. So there is a radius around which, uh, you know, nobody is allowed to be at this point of time. Uh, rocket engineers, ISRO scientists are the only ones, uh, you know, who have access granted. And even at this time, that will be very, very restricted because the final countdown of 18 and a half minutes now has officially begun.